If you are a competitive programmer using C++ and you want to catch your bugs automatically, this video is for you. Hey folks, today we want to talk about Google Sanitizers. I'm Amariza Purakavan from Algorithmy Academy. Let's see. The motivation to understand what is Google Sanitizers is that it can catch up to 20% of your bugs in C++ codes. So when I learned this about five years ago, I discovered that it is catching one fifth of my repetitive bugs. So if you want to learn this too, Let's continue. Let's see which bugs Google Sanitizer can catch for you. The first bug is overflow bug and the second one is index out of bound. As you can see, these are very common bugs that you face in your C++ codes. So how to catch them is Google Sanitizer is an extension to your compiler that you are currently using you can simply turn it on at and it will be attached to your program and will run alongside your program reasons to use google sanitizers is that when you run the program and you face into some bug of this type it will immediately catch it and print it to std out and also it's very easy to use you don't need to do anything extra or adding some code or anything it will report automatically now let's see how to use google sanitizers it's very easy it doesn't need any installation or setup you, what you need is just to use two compiler flags and that's it. You use dash f sanitize undefined and dash f sanitize address to catch the relative bugs. So dash undefined catch divide by zero, overflow, null pointer reference and more. And overall the undefined behavior bugs and address catch buffer overflow use after free and such address bugs and that's it you just need to alter your compile command in some uh, environments you may need to do a bit different thing like uh, setting them in your IDE or in compiler settings in your IDE but that's it here we want to talk about catch index out of one something important to say here is Google sanitizer is not just for catching these two bugs it can catch dozens of different types of bugs like not returning value from a function or many different bugs like this but here we want just to talk about these two common bugs and when you start using google sanitizers you will see the other types that can happen so consider this code which is a very simple code it starts with the function main, then we define an array of length five, and then we try to set a value to the seventh index, which for sure it's out of bound. So if you run this code without Google sanitizers, okay, it will do the instructions and you will not understand that you reached an uh, index out of bond 
and for example if you try to submit it in on code forces you can get wrong answer or runtime error or something like that but if you run it using google sanitizer the output will be so much different like this you can see that it points out to the seventh line and it says index seven is out of bound of your array which has only five elements that's great right here is the typical process that you need to take to catch your bugs using google sanitizers here you can see the overview of the steps you need to take sometimes it might be possible that you don't need to take some of these steps let's just start with the first step first step is a step that you are currently doing this it's not new so you submit your code you get wrong answer or runtime error so nothing is changed in this step after this step previously you might try to read your code providing some test cases or even sometimes you may be left problem solving but now you have an additional tool google sanitizers you can use this to maybe catch some bugs that it might need several hours in the past but now in several minutes you can catch them the second step is to try to make a hacking test case actually this is the 90% uh, of time you don't need to take this step the hacking test case are almost always very obvious it's either the sample test cases themselves or maybe you just need to input the maximum possible test case for example if there are two variables in the input you just set them to their maximum that's it but sometimes it's not that easy for example if the input has some array in it you can't enter manually millions of numbers into your code so you may need a generator code to generate those numbers and input to your code uh, sometimes even this is not enough you need to create a lot of random test cases to find the bug but anyway to summarize you need to make a hacking test case the third step is to input that test case to your code which is very easy note that previously you needed to compile your code using google sanitizer to enable it the fourth step is done by google sanitizer which is it will point out to the exact line that you are doing some mistake like overflow index out of bound returning from a function without a value or something like that the fifth step is you debug your code which is again easy so you know which line is producing the bug so you miss in your calculations or in type of variables or something like that you can easily fix that the second the sixth step is again easy you submit your code and you get accepted that's it did you solve the first question in code forces 1a so one of the most common bugs that happens in 1a is overflow bug because you need to use long line variables in that problem we will now try to solve this problem and we use the power of google sanitizer to see how much it can help us in detecting overflow bug in that problem let's see if you think that this trick is useful don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel to see our next videos too so here we have the first problem of code verses if you didn't solve this problem before 
it's surprising but okay you have now a time to solve this you can pause the video and try to solve this problem okay now i consider that you solved this problem before and now we want to try catching overflow bug in this problem using google sanitizer so let's start by coding this problem the input has integers n m and a then we get the input then we try to calculate the answer so Okay, here is the line that we may face the overflow block. So let me try to provide the input to this code. Okay, it's printing the expected answer. Now we have two ways to understand there is an overflow bug in this code either by submitting it let me submit this code i'm waiting for my code to get judged okay it got wrong answer so i can easily copy paste the input and run it and what i see here is output of google sanitizer which says signed integer overflow and this is the exact error and when i click on this it will bring me into the line that this is happening but if I was inside a contest, I was not able to see the test case, right? But making this test case is very easy. So you just need to set N and M to their maximal value and then A to minimal value. So if you try to input several test cases, you could catch this block and understand that you need to cast this expression to long long integer here a good note is as I am using CLIN IDE it has very good features like clicking on the error and jumping into uh, what happened in, into the line that the bug happened and also it comes with a, a different tab sanitizers that we can enable it to visually see what happened we will cover how to use c -Lion in competitive programming for more efficiency in coding in the future and thank you for watching us hope to see you again bye bye